Ah, uh, Christmas. That time of the year where you see all of your friends list on Steam playing Killing Floor. I don't know what it is about these flesh-craving monstrosities that bring us so close together, but whatever it is, and my bet's on Dosh, I know that it's a great feeling to have. This Christmas update to Killing Floor 2 is great fun, featuring a new map, Krampus's Lair, many new Christmas-themed Z designs, the Ump 45, and much more. The first thing I noticed when I booted up Killing Floor was the amazing menu music, and just like the last event, we are blessed with a new metal rendition of the Christmas theme. And the music is a gift that just keeps on giving, as when you play on the Krampus's Lair map, you're met by even more Christmas tunes. The new map itself is actually now one of my favorite maps to play as it's really well optimized for my potato PC, but it's also a lot of fun due to the new mechanics added to the game. This new mechanic is a holdout mechanic in which many players have to hold a certain area of the map in order to protect it from the Z-Wave. The more damage it takes, the less dosh that you get at the end of the round for protecting it, and as such, it, you know, it's a lot better for the team to work together towards getting this goal complete, as then everyone is rewarded with loads of money. Area almost totally secure. Nice work. We also have the new boss, Krampus himself, and uh, oh my god, he's a weird boss. I don't really know how to explain him. I think the best tip I've heard is just to keep moving, and uh... You know, that seems to be the best tip for every boss in the game. This boss seems to be really big about hitting you with that acidic stuff that gets all over your screen and gets in your pants and gets on your shirt. Um, I don't know which sticky substance we're talking about anymore. Um, I need a... I might need a... A rewrite on that? Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, but the sticky stuff, it's everywhere. And then you got the little sticky guys who come out of the ground to hug you with their stickiness and then blow up in your face and that's not very fun for anyone. The UMP45 is actually a lot of fun to shoot as the SWAT. I mean it fits right in with your other stuff but this time you have a nice little optic so as opposed to some of the other SMGs in the SWAT you know catalog this one has the scope and it makes it a little bit you know a little bit easier to pull off long range headshots not by too much but it does help a bit. The damage is pretty good, it's no Chris Vector, but, you know, it, it'll put a hole in something. So, that's a good, uh, tiny explanation, I guess, of the gun. It's not. It's a it's a bad explanation, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not like Drifter, I don't do, like, in-depth Killing Floor 2 gun analysis videos, but, um, I wish I did. That'd be, that'd be good. I'd probably get, like, way more viewership if I did something like that. Note to self, uh, make a new Killing Floor series where I look at guns. I'm really digging the new Zed designs, I mean, the ones that are just for the standard clots alone where they kind of look like elves, but really fucked up, I love that, and I really hope that they keep that kind of creativity up with any kind of future events, because each event so far has been really good if you're in it for the Zed variations. Um, I really think it's creative too what they did with the sirens, as they don't just exist in the game normally, they have like these really strange like graphical bug effects going on with them like they're almost like banshees teleporting in and out and stuff i i really dig that and i think it's actually one of my favorite new enemy types they've added we've also got like the gingerbread um guys with the blade arms i can't remember gore fast that's it I, I haven't played killing floor in a while i hope you guys can bear with me here i feel like i've completely forgotten all of my you know inside information on the game but uh, yeah, the Gorefasts are like Gore Gingerbread Men. You might recognize them from the, I think, the, the first Christmas event for Killing Floor 1, which I didn't really get to play much of because, you know, I hopped onto the bandwagon a little bit late for that. But yeah, they look really great too. Apparently there's another gun that got added in, by the way. Um, I just don't remember what it is and I didn't see it when I was playing. I'll have to search around, I'm sure you guys in the comments already can, you know, let everyone else know what this gun is, but they did say they're adding two new guns to this update, so either it's not in this yet, or I'm just stupid and have looked right at it and didn't see it for some reason. But um, yeah, there's supposed to be two guns, and the new map, we got the new Zeds like I already said, new music, which is great, I mean, what's what else is not to like? We have the new holdout mechanic, that's awesome, but then we've got loads 
of cosmetics for the, uh, I think the challenges that you can do on the Krampus's layer map, which uh, I haven't really tried for any of these yet, but apparently you can get kind of like a little Christmas, um, I want to call it like Christmas sleepwear outfit kind of thing going on. You get a little Santa hat and some pajamas and uh, yeah, I think that's what you get. You might get something else as well. I haven't really looked into it a lot. But I do know that there's, of course, like with every update we get, there's just a boatload of cosmetics. One that I'm excited for in the next uh, crate is going to be the Plague Doctor mask. So, hey, Tripwire, send me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I've got branding, you know. i got to keep up the brand. But all in all, this has been a pretty good update. Just like the last one and the one before it, we've just had really good KF2 updates. So the updates are amazing and they're great and they're awesome. So look forward to playing it or get it right now on the beta branch on PC. All you have to do is right click on Killing Floor 2, go to the betas tab, click down there and hit preview. Once you do that, you'll get a, I think it's like a 4.8 gigabyte update or a little bit more or less, depending on, you know, circumstances, I guess. And uh, you'll get all this stuff early on the 5th, which is today through I believe the 12th is when it actually officially releases and I think that's when the console gamers might get their first chance to play this as well and uh, yeah so Merry Christmas to all and happy holidays to all and uh, keep spraying bullets at things a lot yeah woo that's what that's the Christmas spirit right there well finish the job Also, be on alert. I might have a new kind of holiday special coming out soon. I'm working really hard on it. It's going to be on the game Steep. And if you have any kind of interest in that game, please stay tuned. Also, I'm going to try to make it kind of a funnier script and do a little bit of like joking with it. I kind of want to make the video like a Russian badger kind of, not a parody, but like kind of stylize the video after him. I'm sure it won't be nearly as funny as anything that guy's ever made. But I want to try my hand at it and just kind of see what happens. And hopefully it'll be a good gift to you guys who have been subscribed for so long and who have been waiting on me to actually make, like, semi-quality content. A lot of the stuff I've been putting out recently has just been, like, stream highlights and things like that. And I know a lot of you guys did not subscribe for that stuff. So I do want to kind of get back into the groove of YouTube this year and into the new year. So uh, thank you guys for being so patient with me. And uh, have fun there on the killing floor. Peace out.